Hey guys, so I'm back for another tutorial and this one is a part of my Pops of Glitter series which is basically a couple of videos focused on incorporating glitter into any everyday makeup look without it being too overwhelming or in your face or coming off like a disco ball or looking like you're related to Tinkerbell. And I think this is a great way to incorporate glitter which is using it as a inner corner kind of accent. And this video is more holiday themed so the actual makeup look is a little bit bolder, a little bit brighter. So you may choose to use a more neutral look or tone it down but going along the same idea of using glitter just as a uh, inner corner accent. So if you want to see how I did this look just stay tuned for the tutorial and as usual pictures of the final look and a complete list of products used will be on my blog and I'll leave a link below along with links to my Facebook page, my Twitter account and my Instagram name. And um, yeah, if you want to know what is on my nails as well that's also in the description box. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. So here's an up close view of the look we're going for. So let's get right into it. So for my primer today, I use my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and I just applied this all over my lid up to my brow to help prevent my eyeshadows from creasing. So I already filled in my brows and I'm gonna go in now with a little bit of concealer to highlight them a bit and to also make the lines a little bit more crisp and defined. And for that, I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC35, which is a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone. And I'm gonna apply that with a concealer brush from Bare Essentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that right under my brow and clean up the shape that we already have. Now I'm going to use another concealer to act as my base for my eyeshadows and this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Tan and I'm just going to apply that with my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my lid and then blend it in with my crease brush. So to start off the look, I'm going to go in with a neutral color, like a skin, a light skin tone color. And for this, I'm using one of the Inglot Rainbow colors. This is 107R, and I'm going to use the lightest color on the top. And this is my Sonia Kashuk Large Crease Brush, and I'm just picking that up. And I'm going to use this as my inner corner color and my transition color in the crease. I'm going to apply that color liberally to the inner corner, the inner tear duct, and also on my crease and brow bone um, area and just blend it upwards and this is going to help with transition and for blending. For my lid colors I'm going to go in with another rainbow color from Inglot and this one is number 109R and as you can see it's a three beautiful green shades together and I'm going to go in with the lightest shade first and I'm going to pick that up on a MAC 239 eyeshadow brush and this is going to help to pack on the color. I'm going to apply the lightest shade first just packing it on on the middle of the lid not trying to blend just yet, just packing on that color. And this dense eyeshadow brush will help us to deposit a lot of color. Next I'm going in with that middle shade and it's more of a deeper forest green. And I'm picking it up on the same brush. And I'm going to apply that to the outer lid area. Not going too far into the outer crease. And just pack on that color until you reach the desired intensity. You can always just choose to go for a less intense color and use less product. I like my colors to pop so I add a little bit more. Then I'm going to wipe off that brush and again go ahead and blend the edges of the color and blend with the other color to ensure that they blend seamlessly. Next I'm going to pick up that darkest shade on my Sonia Kashuk large crease brush and apply that to my outer lid and outer crease area. This color is going to deepen up our outer crease and outer V and give us a more smoky effect. So be careful with it. Don't, oh, don't apply too much and be sure to blend. I wiped off that brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out in the crease area. And that transition shade that we added before will actually help with a seamless blend. Now for my highlight, I'm going to use Rice Paper Eyeshadow from MAC, which is just a shimmery champagne color. 
and I'm going to pick that up on a MAC 252 large paddle brush. I'm going to apply that color directly under the brow and this is going to help also with blending out the edge of that crease color as well as add a highlight. So if you see that gradient effect is kind of diffused a little bit more with that highlight color and we still get our highlight. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to use my MAC Chromographic Pencil in Landscape Green, which is just a great grass green color. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my lower lash line area, staying close to the lashes. Then to help blend that out, I'm just going to use a Sigma smudge brush. This is an E21 from the Performance Brush Collection, and I'm just using that to blend that pencil down a little bit so it doesn't ha seem so harsh. Then I'm just going to quickly line my waterline with my L'Oreal Hip Gel Eyeliner and my Sigma E05 Eyeliner Brush. Now before I go in with the glitter, I'm just going to apply mascara to my upper and lower lashes and this I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And of course you don't want to forget your upper lash line liner and for this I'm grabbing my Babe Cake Liner from Benefit and my small angled brush from MAC, this is the 263 brush. I'm going to apply a very thin line of liner above my lashes and create a very small wing. For my glitter, I'm going to use my MAC Crystallized Lime Glitter. And this is just a beautiful sour apple green color with golden reflex. And I'm going to apply that with my Lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and my E11 Eyeliner Brush from Sigma. And again, this is one of their performance um, brushes, which are really tiny and great for detailed work. Now, I was asked before to show you how I actually mix the glitter, so I'll show that really quick. I'm just going to apply a drop of the glitter liquid, or two drops, in the lid, and then I'm going to kind of rub my brush into it and pick up the glitter as you can see and then I can dip the brush again into the glitter itself and pick up a little bit more until I get that kind of consistency. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply that glitter just on the inner corner of my lower lash line and be very careful with this. Now I'm applying that glitter very close to the lash line. I'm not trying to overdo it and go all over the place. Just apply it just to the lash line, staying very close to the lashes. And there you have it. Now you can remove any glitter that got on your lashes, of course, and any extra glitter that may have gotten all over the place. And that's what you have. And of course this look is not complete without lashes and for that I'm going to apply my Beauty Sense lashes and this is in Erotica which are great full lashes that taper in from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes and I'll be right back to finish up the rest of the look. Now for my lips I wanted to go in with a RNG peach lip that's going to complement the green on the eyes and I'm going to start out with a lip pencil and this is from MAC and it's in Temperature Rising, and I'm going to apply that to my lips and kind of blend it in. Now once I have my lips lined, I'm going to go in with my lipstick, and this is Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense in number 39, and it's a soft peachy color, and it's matte in finish. And I'm going to apply that directly to my lips. Now once my lipstick is on, I'm going to go in with a little bit of lip gloss. And this is a Lip Addict Lip Polish from Dior. And this is in number 3. And as you can see, it's a soft peachy color. And I'm just going to apply that to the center of my lips. Okay guys, so the eyes and the lips are done and I'll give you an up-close view of both eyes completed 
and the lips. And now we can move on to the rest of the face. The first thing I'm going to do is contour and I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit number 2 and my Sigma Angled Kabuki Brush and just apply a bit of contour to my cheeks to give my face some dimension. Now in keeping with the theme, I'm going to use a peach colored blush and this is How Great Peaches Blush from MAC and it's a matte light peach color and I'm going to use my Cosette S135 brush to apply that just to the backs of my cheeks. Then for a highlight, I'm going to use Refined Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC which is also like a peach toned highlight color and my S135 Cosette blush brush and apply that just to the high points of my cheeks. Now here you have the completed look. Now you can definitely change up the lips. If these are too intense for you, you can go for a nude neutral lip and I'd still stay in the peachy nude kind of theme. And if you're really bold, you can definitely go for a red lip with this look because it will offset the green in the eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you got some tips of how to just incorporate glitter into any regular look just to add that pop of glitter and to add a little zest to your look. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!